Today has been a boot punch kind of day. This is like my fifth time trying to record this video. You're gonna see this in me ranting and drinking beer. I wanted to talk about uh, editing programs that you could use to, you know, make cool YouTube channel art. But since I royally failed, I'm gonna make it really quick and it's gonna sound like I do when I normally talk. So I can get all of me. So much for sounding all professional. First one is crit or oh my god, wrong one. So the first one, Canva. Canva is a great program because I mean, if you're lazy or just don't have time or don't don't have time, don't have money. If you don't have time, you don't have money. If you don't have time or money, or you're just lazy, then Canva's great. Um, it's pretty much drag and drop the whole way through. You just go to canva.com, make an account, and voila, you make beautiful artwork in moments. As you can see here, I have made my beautiful friend Anne some quick fan art to show how Canva works. It's free, but you don't get the ultimate capabilities of like image manipulation and things like that. I mean, you get some limited amounts, but not a lot. Canva! Which is the bane of my existence today and in general is GIMP. GIMP is fantastic because it's um, free and it's a lot like Photoshop. GIMP is the bane of my existence because it's not enough like Photoshop. By explaining this, a lot of other programs, they kind of keep the same feels, even if they're, you know, a little cheaper or whatever. And I can generally find wh what I need. GIMP is not easy at all. It could be I'm spoiled off of, um, you know, I don't know, paint shop. anything from Paint Shop Pro to Photoshop to even Microsoft Paint. Like Microsoft Paint is easier to use than this. But it does actually have some powerful features and it's great if you are trying to, you know, do a little more fancy schmancy crap. You have your colors area, you've got your layers, and your layers are your best friends. You're allowed to do transparency options and just, just a bunch of stuff you can do with it. So I would say if you get used to GIMP, I, it can be really, really great, but it does have a steep learning curve. Luckily, there's a lot of people on the internet who know what they're doing with GIMP and they use it wonderfully. So I would look up those tutorials and if I can, maybe I'll link a few here. I don't really have much else to say about these programs because I filmed this I've repeated it again. I've repeated probably five times now. But I filmed this five times. But yeah, it's been a boot punch kind of day, but I wanted to make sure I got you guys some content and something I promised. So I guess like and follow me if you appreciate this kind of stuff. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to, like I said, my friend Anne, who was in the first image I used. The second image that I ended up using was of a YouTuber named Princess Shaw. She's actually got a fantastic documentary that's out on Netflix that's called Presenting Princess Shaw, and it talks about, it talks about like YouTube culture, things of that nature, but more than anything, it actually goes into Shaw's life and shows the beautiful and fun person that she is. Just, just go watch Presenting Princess Shaw, and then if you want, I will link below Princess Shaw's actual YouTube account. I guess have a great day. If you want more videos like this, I promise next week I will make something a little less uh, go, go, go. And, you know, whatever. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.